Hello, hello beautiful Libra. Welcome into my channel, Miss Rainy Healings. My name is Rain. Welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Libra. I'm going to get started on your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing, and guidance. And then I will flow into your romantic love life reading. So I will timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. This is for Libra. We're going to start off with Sufi, Rumi, and then we'll get into the Gaia tarot. All right. For Libra. I feel like you're being introduced to something or you're stepping into something for the very first time. Because I'm seeing someone walk through a door and to me that's you're stepping into something but it feels as if you've never stepped into this energy at all. Um, you're stepping into, into something for the very first time. Oh, that's weird. Um, I'm getting this energy. Wherever it is that you are stepping into, it's absorbed by another energy. So it's subsumed. This energy is subsumed. So it's it's absorbed by some other energy. Um, almost like a casing, almost like um um like a protective energy. But I don't really feel like you feel the other other energy or know about the other energy that is absorbing where you are stepping into. I don't know why they're positioning it like that to me, but you have these two cards that came out. Um, will work to unfold it. And I feel like that's what this energy here is. It's like this unfolding um, energy. It actually looks like flower petals. It looks like a, um, it looks like a protective uh, casing of very thin, like a membrane of some kind of earth material. Um, Like imagine, imagine your environment, okay, is the way that they're showing me. Imagine your environment. Okay, this is where I am in my environment, okay? There is this protective energy around my environment and the way they're showing it to me is that it's a um, earth material and they're showing me rose petals. Um, there's something about the earth that's around you that's protecting your environment so whatever energy and this is the energy behind it the energy of love this energy that is descending onto you um you can see that it's literally like descending from this moon frequency from the moon and it's falling on you it's descending into you you could be receiving a really major download you could be receiving um, a stream of information at this time. Pay attention to your dreams. Dreams are extremely um, high um, energies right now where they are showing us um, uh, information, like our subconscious mind is spitting out. Oh, that's interesting. Because um, now I'm kind of seeing this as your subconscious mind and it's streaming information onto you. Very delicate. Yeah, there's some kind of like delicacy here. Um, very delicate information, very delicate energies. Um, it's like it's not necessarily vulnerable or susceptible to harm or anything like that it's just it's a very delicate process in which you are undergoing at this time i don't know if you're going through some kind of um, um initiation or an update or an upgrade but it's almost like your subconscious mind is spewing out these informations um some of you it's fear some of you you're recognizing what your fears are um so that you can face them so that you can transmute them into light so that you can understand them so that you can understand yourself and your environment um, there's something that you need to see in order to understand your environment and there's this so your whatever it is that you are stepping into for the very first time it's like it 
it's only available to you and you only right now before um, other energies are, um, I don't want to use the word allowed because it kind of feels like they need permission, but it's almost like this new environment is for you to um, explore and to understand how it is with you and how you are with it. Um, and so you're subsumed. So this energy is subsumed. Okay. It's, it's so what I mean by that is it is absorbed in another energy. So this energy is absorbing this energy right now. And it's a very, it's like a really thin film, but I'm, I'm seeing it in your environment. Like I'm, it's, it's material earth energy. So I mean, like, Pay close attention to the plants around you, to the flowers around you, to the earth around you, even like to the trees around your house. Um, if you have like a very particular tree, like outside of your house or outside of your room, that is the energy that is um, protecting you. That is the energy that is being utilized as this um, energy in which this is inside of it. Okay, so... This is the energy that is being subsumed in the earth material that is being harnessed as a protective barrier, as a protective film. Does this make sense? Oh my God. <laughs> um, I, okay. Okay. There's like, I'm seeing a specific tree. I'm seeing a specific tree. I'm seeing flowers. I don't know if like you're around a lot of earth right now, or maybe you're just taking notice of the earth around you, the flowers around you, the plants around you, um, the... I'm just seeing the earth around you. Yeah, I've never even really noticed this, but oh my, I just saw this. Like, it's almost like it just appeared in my mind's eyes. Like when I looked at this card, I didn't even see this energy here. But do you see what I mean? Like, this is what I'm talking about. Okay. This energy is absorbed in another energy. Okay. So that's what I'm talking about here. Do you see this, these lines that are running across here in this card, this earth material, it's a very thin um, like film of earth material that's being, being utilized. It's like the universe took this plant and said, this is what's going to protect me. So I'm absorbed in this energy right now. This is protecting me as I'm receiving a download, as I'm receiving this channeled messages. Like this is what I'm talking about. And it's like creating this barrier. So you actually have different um, some zoomed energies here. You have different energies here. It's like you have different layers of protection, just like how I was talking about this energy here, how it's just kind of like opening and, and unfolding. And this is the energy inside of this. So this card is actually projecting that in just one imagery here. So I don't really know where I'm getting at. <laughs> Or where this is leading us but this is actually energetically what they want to reassure to you is whatever it is that you're receiving is protected okay whatever you are stepping into is protected all right whatever you are feeling is not going to get lost in translation or get um uh imprinted with other energies again it goes back to you being so intimately connected with an energy and this energy being in intimately connected to you and that's why i'm feeling this subsumed energy where you're completely being absorbed in another energy for protection Okay, while you get to know this new energy, while you are in, you're intimately connected with this. 
okay, is the best way that I can, I can showcase this energy to you, okay? So, um, that's an interesting energy. I've, um, I've never channeled that before. I'm just going to go to Rumi and see... Ah, oh, the angel Rasbar has been coming out. And look here, enter the Garden of Delights. Again, more of this like earth environment, this earth material. Okay, I'm telling you right now, even the angel Rasbar is, um, she is um, leaving a path of petals behind her. It's, oh, it's, it's spirit. It's, um, it's almost like this angel, uh, like circular. It's almost like this is the angel Rasbar, and she has like, how, hmm, how do I say this? Like she has like entered the veil, and started to go around your physical environment and started to put or enhance this earth material that's around you to be a protective frequency. Okay, there's something about your energy right now that is being grounded. But the universe and this cosmic angel is utilizing the plants, the earth elementals around you to help facilitate this intimate process. Of you stepping into something for the very first time. Does this make sense? Because this is what I'm this is what I'm getting. Um, and that is why they're confirming this energy with enter the garden of delights. The garden, the earth energy. There's so much earth energy here that's being utilized and harnessed as this protective film. Um, and it's interesting because I wanted to go to the Earth Gaia tarot for you. More of this Earth energy. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. We're getting kind of somewhere. Mm, does this make sense? So we talked about this subsumed energy. Oh my god, this is the angel Rathbar. This is her. This is the eight of earth. This is her. Look at this. More of this earth energy. This is an earth. She, she's coming across as this earth elemental. You guys are connected to earth elementals right now. Like you could be connected to fairies. You could be connected um, to just earth energies, earth frequencies, um, shamans, um, people of the earth. Like, I don't know, like energies underneath the earth, spirits under the earth. I don't know. There's, there's some kind of earth elementals spirit earth elementals that the angel rasbar is bringing forward into your into your environment like you're absorbed in it like that's what i'm talking about like this is this is this energy like outside Okay, and you're inside the Garden of Delights. You're not outside of the Garden of Delights. You see this energy? You see that protective film that we talked about here like that? That's her confirming this energy again. You're absorbed in the Garden of Delights. That's what I'm saying about subsumed, okay? 
I feel like I'm okay. I already addressed that. I just want to make sure like that makes sense because she is inside the garden of delights where you are. It's almost like you're intimately connected to the earth elementals right now. I don't know if you have earth in your chart or you're just. There's a strong earth. Some of you, you need to look at your earth chart. You need to look at your chart, your birth chart. Look at where earth uh, placements are. It's really important at this time. I'm going to get a. Um, yeah. Okay. You're supposed to do something. You have here another eight. You have here the eight of water. You have here knowledge. And you have here the nine of fire. Hold on a second. There's the number 13 here. Yeah, three of air. This is more learning energy. Remember that reading that we did for you of the more knowledge you know, the more monsters you see? I feel like you're getting to know the other side of the spectrum of information. How gorgeous is that? There was a reading that we did. I think it was maybe in the summertime of last year called the more you know the more monsters you see now this is like on the other end of the spectrum this is like the more you know the more beauty you see or the more love you see or What's the opposite of monsters? I don't know. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? I think that's why here the energy of love is here. Behold the world through the eyes of love. You have here faith. Let me get one more. Do you know what I mean? Like you're getting to know a different side. You're... No. You're getting information that... You hear two of cups. Yeah, this is love. This is the energy of love. Nine of cups, five of air. Yeah, the counselor. You guys, oh, look at this. Mm hmm. More of the sea serpent energy that we've been channeling death and rebirth. You're going through, this is a recreation process. Yes, transformation. Yes, death, death and then rebirth. Yes, but this is so much more than that. This is so much more than that. You are... You are receiving information that is going to help not only you, but, him, but humanity about recreation and recreation of the planet and recreation of the world, recreation of your life. And that is why this earth elementals are so important because we're here on planet earth. Does this make sense? In the beginning of your journey, Libra, you were learning about your shadows. You were doing healing. You, I mean, we're always doing healing, but you, you went into that depth, right? We also did a reading for you titled, um, It's Not Luck, It's All the Years That You've Spent in the Depths. Okay? I, I'm feeling for you that you've already attained like that and balanced that dark aspect of yourself and understood the darkness of the world and understood that life is not always rainbows and sunshine and butterflies and life is not all about you know um love but it contains you know bad things too it's it's a balance right and i feel like you've gone to know that side intimately and you were comfortable in the discomfort 
and you had knowledge of some of the information and the truths that are um, hard to swallow, that are hard to bear. The more you know, the more monsters you see. Now you're on this side of the spectrum. It's like now you've, you, you're being initiated to understand what love really is. The energy of love. You're seeing the world through the eyes of love because you are love. Because you were in the depths. And now this, I feel like this angel Rasbar, she is actually coming across to me as a earth angel. Like an earth angel elemental like a spirit of the earth like she's that's who she is she's coming through as the spirit of the earth and you're completely this energy this is new this is new for you this is what you are stepping into this initiation of understanding the true essence, the energy of love for what it really is and all that it contains because it contains knowledge. It contains truth. It contains different energies and you are meant to harness this energy and like do something with it because you're here as like this alchemist you have the cauldron you're holding a little um glass it's like glowing with this like fire um energy it's like you alchemize something you did something with you did something with the knowledge to recreate this is for recreation Again, more of this knowledge energy. See, you're being privy to new knowledge of the earth, of the world, of love. This is going to restore your faith. You have your faith, your faith in the world, your faith in humanity, your faith in other people, your faith in yourself, your faith in the divine, your faith in, in the universe, your faith on the future. Because love is possible here. You have here the two of cups, the energy of love. The energy of love is so powerfully working through you right now. The energy of love is, it's almost like being gifted to you and being bestowed to you, showing you its true face. The energy of love is showing you its true face. Look at the five of swords, mask off. Oh, that blindfold, that blindfold's coming off. Because it's not necessarily um, seeing love, but what is it? It's feeling love. Look at these people, eyes are closed. You're seeing the true face of love. This counselor energy, and this is that um, the spirit of the earth, Angel Rasbar, that we're talking about. Um, there's other earth elements that you are elemental, excuse me, that you are connected to. So please take it as it resonates. If you resonate with fairies, take it as that. If you resonate with the oak men, take it as that. If you resonate with the green man or the green woman, take it as that, okay? The counselors are looking to you because you will be then counseling others. This is part of your path and part of your purpose because you are part of the restoration. This card to me is initiation. Like this light is being bestowed onto you. Again, look at it's the same energy. The energy is just confirming itself here. See that? How it's being um, streamed down onto you. Remember how I said that? And look at this energy is being streamed down onto you. It's the energy of love. It's the energy of love. Like, I don't know what more to say about this. This is actually really abundantly beautiful. You're so intimately connected to this and it's so intimately connected to you. You're seeing the true face of love.
this is, uh, this is I'm so beyond beautiful. Um, I also want to note you have here 27 and 28. So this is progression forward. Okay, this is progression forward. And you can even see here, as I was talking about earth, right? Earth elementals and look at the faith card with all of the earth animals. This is your reading. I hope, I honestly hope this made sense and I hope it resonated um, with those that are meant to hear this message. I know it'll reach those that need to hear it. So I'm going to move on to your love life. That was really beautiful. Thank you for allowing me to read for that. Thank you, spirit of the earth. Thank you. It's a really gorgeous energy. Okay. Let's get into your love life now. Okay. Wow. It's beautiful. All right, let's get into your love life. Um, I'm going to go to, I don't know what this is called, Wisdom Oracle, I believe, the Wisdom Oracle deck, and then we'll get into the tarot. You're definitely in the energy of receiving. You have here yin, okay, and mending, all right? Um, 50, 522 is, an, is a number I'm seeing here, 522. Um, let me get into your tarot. You're receiving healing. You are receiving, um, you're being guided to be in the energy of receptivity, okay? here with the yin energy. Um, I'm feeling the month of February as an important month for you regarding love. Here with two, second month of, second month. Um, someone also sews or someone grew up with their mother um, who sewn their clothes or made their clothing. Someone here makes clothing, okay? Or again, grew up with their mother um, making their clothes is a message that I'm getting. You have here the five of wands. Okay, so I'm seeing that there's a connection that... So y you were in or you are in, okay? depending on your timeline. I'm reading this in the now moment, but you could take this information as past, present, or future, okay? So please use your discernment of timelines. I'm seeing here that there was a, some kind of conflict. Um, you have here the Seven of Swords. Judgment. So... Wow, you actually have here five, six, and seven of swords. Or sorry, you have here five, six, seven, five of wands, six, and the seven of swords. You have here the lovers, the nine of wands. I'm feeling a lot of conflict in your love life. Um, okay, I do like that. That is coming to a close. Do you have here two of pentacles? There's someone here that you just didn't, you weren't on the same page. Do you have here the four of wands, the nine of swords? Like remember your, your um, spiritual growth message, okay? You're seeing the true faith of, true face of love and it was that energy uh, being downloaded and, and completely, excuse me, poured onto you. Um, you have here the Three of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Ace, um, sorry, the Magician, the Six of Wands, and the Two of Cups. And the Two of Cups was also in your spiritual growth message. So you're definitely in the energy of receptivity, but Spirit wants you to use your discernment of what it is that you're receiving. What have you been opening up yourself to? 
okay? Um, is what you're receiving right now good for you? Is what you have received or allowed to receive inside of yourself, did it serve you in a positive manner? Did it help you? Was it of detriment to you? Or, um, you know, I'm also seeing that you need to shift your perspective and see it as uh, a lesson and for growth, for growing. Um, if it didn't work out the way that you wanted it to, it this person or the people, people in your life, um, in your romantic love life, in your connections, they entered your life for a reason, okay? I feel like um, you're... you're absolutely mending here with mending and the three of swords you're healing your heart i feel like you're extremely careful here with the nine of wands above the three of swords i feel like you're very careful you're also a little bit paranoid here i'm, I'm seeing nine nine um nine of wands nine of swords you're paranoid you're very careful of who you choose to allow in your heart space and what you will uh, what you will allow. I'm seeing that there was a lot of conflict with someone or people. This could be more than one lover. Um, this could be just like dating and not necessarily being in a committed relationship, um, or it could be just for one person with you. But overall, the general message is lots of conflicts as it pertains to your love life and I see that you are moving away I see that you're trying to find a way out is what I'm getting here with the six of swords and the seven of swords I feel like um you're no longer entertaining this energy because I'm seeing the six of swords move away from the seven of swords like they're not actually coming together but these energies are actually repelling each other um is something that I'm seeing here so you could have felt like your energy was repelling a lot of people in your life and I think that's what I'm seeing here with the five of wands it's just so much repelling and and um, nothing is really sticking um, nothing is of sustenance or of value to you um, my candle just crackled so um, pay close attention to what it is that you your energy repelled okay um, and so I feel like you are finding that resolve here with the world and you're moving forward. I feel like you're no longer, um, I'm kind of seeing someone tiptoe and um, be quite indecisive. It's crackling again. It actually doesn't do that as often. Um, so that's, again, okay, spirit, is, um, spirit is showing you the very thing that is exiting your life, the very energies that you're repelling, okay? So pay close attention to the energies that are being repelled, okay? Um, because it's a redirection. And I feel like that's what the Six of Swords and the world is doing. It's redirecting you onto a new path. And this is what we were talking about in your spiritual growth. And your very first channeled message uh, that came through was that you're stepping into something new. And I feel like it's interesting because um, the way this the spread is laid out, you're actually facing away from this entire energy right here. And you're looking towards, I usually actually place the energies of the bottom of the deck on this side. I don't know why I place them on this side. And I actually noticed that it's because the Six of Swords, this is where you're looking at. This is where you're looking to, the way that I place them. So you're moving in another direction, you're stepping into something new, and this is the energy that is exiting out of your life, okay? You found a way out of it, you're no longer tiptoeing, um, and I see that you made that final decision and final call because there was so much energies that were trying to stabilize but couldn't. Again, it's even like your environment, your um your reality it's almost like your reality and your environment was also repelling this energy off remember how we talked about that this new energy that you're stepping into or the energy that you have been in for quite some time this new energy um it, it, you were absorbed in another energy it was like a you were subsumed right so this energy that you were absorbed into um and we talked about that with the garden uh the garden of delights okay we talked about this energy and so like you're here okay receiving this info receiving this new energy receiving the energy of love 
this is where you're stepping into something new and this is where you're absorbed into. So that's that earth protective barrier that you're absorbed into. Okay, do you see that? So it's almost like your environment was actually repelling these energies and that's what I'm seeing here with the judgment and the four of wands again with these pillars like protecting um, your environment here so it's almost like this energy was just so conflicting with yours it just it would, would not work so your environment was even repelling them your reality was repelling them um, and so you might have thought like why why is nothing sticking like you're over here worried about the lovers in your life you're worried about the decisions that you have made or the decisions of others that they have made and instilled onto your life okay and i see that you're wondering like why what what had occurred and i feel like this really um you know caused some um discontentment and a lot of paranoia as well because i feel like you're trying to figure out why or how um why isn't anything of value or why isn't some anything sticking it's because your energy and your environment is repelling these lovers or this lover because they were just not for you so you're healing right now and you're getting ready to receive a new energy and that's where you're moving into and i want to talk about it because it's the ten of cups it actually um, what I'm feeling with the Ten of Cups, because it came out in the reverse, it's almost like a fear of yours that you won't find that joy or you won't find that happiness because the magician was in the upright position on the bottom of the deck underneath the Ten of Cups. And it's almost like you have a hope of, of feeling content and of feeling secure and safe in a relationship and happy um, and blissful and joyous but it's actually your fear at the same time of not getting that and so i'm seeing that um eventually you will um, i'm also seeing be careful of what you think because you will manifest whatever it is that you think you will manifest because you're in this powerful mode of recreation okay what we talked about in your spiritual growth message so i feel like there's a really important message here of because you're in this powerful energy of receiving here with the yin energy um you're going to receive what you're going to manifest what you are recreating here for your love life as well okay so um if you think that you're going to be unhappy you're going to be unhappy if you think that you're going to be happy you will be happy and victorious is what i'm seeing here six of wands was in the in, was in the upright with the two of cups also in the upright so there is a victorious connection here that you are moving towards there is a new lover here that you are um, going to be meeting and receiving you have to be in the receptivity energy okay so that's this is your reading okay um and i'm gonna tie it back to your spiritual growth message you're seeing the true face of love all right what these individuals were these past lovers they weren't the true face of love you're gonna see the true face of love all right i love you guys this is what i have until next time